Another aspect of the companion installation is the head leveling kit. Now this leveling kit now comes standard with all new companion purchases, but if you have an earlier companion without the leveling kit, just call the folks at B&W and they'll get you one of these out free of charge. Now I've already removed the fifth wheel head to expose the arm so you can see what we're doing here. And I've pre-assembled the spring and the clip mechanism together according to the diagram that's found in the installation instructions. And we want to tighten this bolt down tight enough that it's holding the spring firmly in place but loose enough that we can tilt it back and forth on the tab. We also are going to install this, this assembly on the driver side arm on the forward flange. And where we get that position is we take a ruler or a measuring tape and measure from the bottom of the bushing to the top of the spring a quarter of an inch. Once we have that measurement, we'll place the spring into position like so, and then fully seat the clip onto the arm using a hammer. Make sure it's on good and firm. Now we'll be able to reinstall our fifth wheel head and adjust our spring. All right, I've reinstalled the head on top of the arms and pinned it into position. Now to finalize the installation of the head leveling kit, we're gonna pull the spring tension firmly against the forward edge of the fifth wheel head until we have the head positioned at the angle we want it. Once we have the head parallel with the bed, we'll take a 7 16 wrench and a 7 16 socket and tighten this down and now that'll hold our head into position where it's flat when we pull under the trailer.